my name is Gar Reynolds, and I often say that good presentation is like good conversation. Now, of course, there are many types of presentations that you can give, and if you're giving a talk to a small group uh, around a conference table, for example, then probably using a whiteboard or just using a handout is, is much better than using technology in, in most cases. But if you're giving a, a presentation in front of a large group, such as a, a TED Talk or a, a TEDx event, uh, or an Ignite event, or Pecha Kucha night, uh, or any kind of uh, business presentation or, or uh, academic presentation at a large conference, then technology can be a very useful thing, so long as we get away from the technology and still are able to make that human-to-human -human connection with the audience. Now, one problem that I see, no matter where I go around the world, is this idea of being behind a lectern, stuck behind a lectern, with the computer open as we use the index finger to go through a bunch of slides. This is all too common still in 2013. Uh, and even when the presentation is, is quite good, still something is lacking. That engagement and that connection with the audience is lacking because that person seems so far removed from us. It becomes like a, a ball and chain and we're just stuck there. And so what I would like to do is to have us cut that chain and get out close to the audience. And one way to do that, or I should say one thing that's very necessary if we use technology, is that we're going to have to have some sort of remote control device so that we can free ourselves to get away from the PC, wherever it happens to be located on stage. Now, this is one that I've been using for a long time, the, the Keyspan Easy Presenter. This is the actual one that I've been using for almost nine years. It's traveled with me um, all over the world, and just a couple of weeks ago, it finally crapped out. It still works, except the forward button no longer works for some reason, uh, which makes it kind of useless. But um, the reason why I like this is, as you can see, it has a volume control. Now, because I do lots of training seminars and even the key keynotes that I do have a lot of video and sometimes music in them, so I need to adjust the volume just depending on, on the context of the, the situation. But in times where I don't need to control the volume, uh, then using a much smaller remote is a good idea. And by the way, this is the Presentation Remote Pro, which is a, it's a newer version uh, if, if you can't find this one. And I hear it has, a, uh, it has really good reviews on Amazon. I think it's probably uh, pretty decent. But when I don't need volume control, then the thing is to have it as small as possible. Now, this is a Mogi-san who's well known in Japan. This is him at, at TEDx Tokyo. You can see the remote that he has in his hand. And that's not a problem when you're just, you know, giving a, a basic presentation. But when you also want to demonstrate something with your hands and control multimedia, then, and if you had a microphone in your hand too, uh, then it can be pretty cumbersome uh, to use a, the basic remote control. As you can see, this presenter here has a remote in his hand, and this presenter here who needs his hands to, to demo taking trash and changing it into gasoline, uh, he has it in his hand, but it's a, it's a bit cumbersome. So what if you want to have your hands free and also advanced slides? The key thing then is to have something very, very small. There is actually a a remote that I'd like to rec recommend is actually two remotes, uh, the Genius Ring Presenter and the Genius Wireless Ring Mouse. These are not the latest versions. Um, these are about a year old or so, and they're quite similar. There's a newer version, and there's versions that have a, a, a pointer on them. But these are the two that, that I have and that I've used uh, with some good success. So we'll call these A and B, and we'll just look at those. Uh, the price is around $50 or so, uh, give or take, uh, US. So the first one, the Genius Ring Presenter, uh, what can I say about it? It's the one that I've been using uh, for this presentation. Um, it's quite good. Uh, the thing that I like about it, I, I don't use the mouse function. It has a mouse here, uh, you can, uh, like a trackpad, and it works more or less. Um, but I can't demonstrate it here because I'm using Keynote, and the mouse doesn't work in Keynote. So here it is on mouse function. As you can see, there's, there's the mouse there, and I'm just using my thumb to kind of go across it. You can see, there, there's the mouse. And go on some slides here, and boom. And it works. I mean, you can do it, and you can control. There go, I hit the play button. Yeah. But if you're using PowerPoint or something else, it, it does work. But I just like it because it's the basic forward and back does work. But what it's great about it, it allows you to be hands-free so that you can do many things while you're presenting. For example, you could drink mm, whiskey.
Now, the, the Genius Ring presenter comes in many different colors, uh, which reminds me of some other company uh, many years ago. Anyway, it does come in different colors. Probably you want to use black. I hear the pink. Uh, there's a lot of pink. Apparently nobody wants the pink one. Uh, but the black one is fine and it does work. And what I like to do, just here's my little uh, test to show you how snappy it is. So when I say these numbers, I will click at the same time and you can judge, judge for yourself how snappy they are. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, see that one? Sometimes it misses, but that's probably the fault of my thumb. Let's try it again. Ten. No, ten. Okay. Ten was hard, uh, but I got it at least nine clicks in there without it missing. Uh, if you click it, you know, directly, perfectly, it'll work every time, but my thumb, if you're going to hold it like this, uh, the thumb misses uh, occasionally. Okay, but more or less, that one does work. That's the Genius Ring Presenter. Okay, let's take a look at the second one, the Genius Wireless Ring Mouse, which is very similar. It has the trackpad on top. Uh, you can click it, you can click this button and it becomes a mouse, a trackpad type mouse, which more or less works. Uh, but you know, it's a bit funky and clumsy for someone like me, at least. If you click it again, it becomes just an advanced button as it is here. It comes in a, a case with some foam uh, inside, which is really good because these three parts, the quarter doesn't come with it, but the, the three parts, the, the USB uh, charging cable, so you can actually, actually has a rechargeable, both of them have a rechargeable battery, which is really nice. And the USB receiver, in both cases, they're very, very tiny. Uh, that's a good thing, but it also can be a, a bad thing in the sense that it's very easy to lose. So at least it does come in this case and you have to be very careful to keep things in there. Uh, so this is the uh, this is what it looks like. Uh, that's not the actual size. Uh, this is the actual size that I have on my finger here. And again, you can still do things. I could take a drink of water. I could juggle some balls or whatever I, I had to do. So with, as with the first one, let's take a little test to see how snappy it is. So we start with zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, nine. Okay, sometimes you miss it and 10. So more or less uh, it works quite well and you could always go back if you had to, nine, eight, seven, and so on. So it does work. Both of them do work. Um, actually, I don't really prefer one over the other, but you just have to get used to it. Uh, when I first started using it, the first presentation I gave um, sort of messed things up a little bit. So you have to be very comfortable, but it just takes um, 10, 15 minutes of using it to be very familiar with the, the controls. So that's the second one, the Genius Wireless Ring Mouse. So we've looked at the Genius Ring Presenter and the Genius Wireless Ring Mouse. There are newer versions of these, uh, but these are the ones that I use. And um, yeah, I can recommend them, especially if you can get them at a good price. They don't have a volume control, but if you just need something very small and, and literally uh, hands-free, of course it's wireless, but you also can do things with your hands. Um, these are quite good remote control devices. But whatever you do, if you use technology, if you use a computer, please try to get a remote control so that you can get away from the technology as much as possible. All right. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.